I'm gonna get a promotion. You're pulling my leg. No, I deserve it. I worked my fingers to the bone. I'm glad they give you a break. Finally, things are looking up for me. I'm taking on more responsibility. Now, you have to get into the swing of things and learn the ropes. It'll be a breeze. I'm really cut out for this work. Today we're going to talk about a kind of conversation between a husband and a wife. It's a very important one to understand idiomatic expressions, the figurative, the non-literal meaning. And by the way, thank you so much for your mind-blowing feedback, gorgeous comments, amazing questions. Thank you so much. Without you, it would be possible. Keep going on. Remember all of this. Give a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. Share. So. Three, two, one, let's get started. Our word for today is a cinch, a breeze. We have a conversation between a husband and a wife. He said, I'm gonna get a promotion, right? But she's being sarcastic in here. She can't believe her husband. Why? Because she said, you're pulling my leg. So we have a conversation. Remember, when we have idiomatic expressions or when we have a native conversation we have native phrases what i mean by this is real native english there are americans they're using a lot of idiomatic expressions so we have mike and julia let's dive in let's break it down pulling my leg it means you're teasing me you're playfully teasing me you're making fun Hey, come on, get out of here. I can't believe you. You're pulling my leg. I got a new car. Where is it? That's my car. You're pulling my leg. That's your father's. So, basically, you're teasing me. Making fun, kind of joking. No, I deserve it. I locked my fingers to the bone. <laughs> so, notice in here the way that he said it. I have every right and I deserve it. I have every right to get it. I want my fingers, look at that, to the bone. No more fingers, no more energy. This is what we call I worked very hard to. So, work my fingers to the bone, like when you work 24 7, not a stop, around the clock, on your PC, right? So, it means you worked very hard, that's it. I'm glad they give you a break. In here, I'm glad they give you a new chance, a new opportunity. Usually it has different meanings, like, give me a break. I cannot believe what you said. I moved to New York yesterday. Hey, give me a break. Or, when you stop criticizing someone, I'm glad they give you a break. Like in this context, or I'm glad they give you a break, they stopped treating you harshly in a very strict way. So it has different meanings. Now, we have to get into the swing of things. What does that mean? You have to understand and be active again or you have to adjust and adapt to a new environment. Let me tell you something. When you go after a very long time or a very hard work and you take a vacation, your manager might tell you you have to get into the swing of things. You have to be active again or you have to adapt to a new environment. So keep it in mind these two meetings. 
I'm a new to this war. I have to get into the swing of things. It's a new environment. But I was away for a very long time on vacation. So what might I say one of your co-workers or a colleague at work might tell you, like, you have to get into the swing of things. We got a new manager. He's very mean. Okay. Let's continue. Learn the ROPS means learn how to do a job or an activity or acquire a special knowledge of a job. It'll be a breeze. It'll be very easy for me. A cinch. And in this video, they told you about a lot of meanings for easy. We have a lot of phrases, we have a lot of idioms, we have a lot of different words in the state of saying easy, like anyone can do it. In my Catch-22 video, look at them again, and we have a variety of meanings for the word easy. I'm really cut out for this work. I'm really suited to this work. I have a talent for this work. He's a gifted guy, a big one, he's a brain. Don't forget to download the PDF, you're gonna find everything there. Let me know the right answers in the comments. Before saying bye for today, we're gonna do a quick quiz, quick recap. You're gonna see a lot of visuals. I'm gonna give you a hint, you're gonna see a hint. Um, you have to guess the real idiomatic expression we talked about. Roll up your sleeves. And let's get started. Five clues, five hints, five visuals. Think about it. Talk about it. Look at the visuals. Write some comments. Make some sentences. Share them. And let me know what expressions are we gonna discuss. Ready, set, go. They're pulling what? Association, imagination, and creation. That's what you need. That's the magic of your conscious and subconscious mind. You don't need a translation. You don't need a translation in here. Just the meaning of it. When you just imagine the meaning, when you associate it with the moon, see it, say it, do it. You will never ever forget it. Write it down. It's gonna be in your subconscious mind. No need to translate it. That's it, especially for B1 and B2 students. That's it. Number one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's it. Yes, you're, of course, it explains it. Pulling my leg. Number two. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Stop sending emails. <laughs> right. I worked my fingers. Yes. Yes. No more fingers. God forbid. Mm -hmm. I worked my fingers to the bone. Very hard. That's it. Stop sending emails. <laughs> yeah. Now, in the. Okay, in the swing of things, yes, especially when you are in a new environment, yes, you can tell me the meaning of it, remember, imagination, association, and creation, that's it, no need to translate it, when you now, you, you, you imagine it, you are associating it, with the picture in mind. And then you know it. Aha! <gasps> uh -huh. I gotta get into the swing of things. You see in here the rope? Yes. That's it. Learn the ropes. Get in the swing of things. Learn the ropes.
give it your best shot, download my PDF, subscribe, it's always free. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Till next time.